So one of the things about our orchestra, which we call the OAE for short, because who wants to say the orchestra of the Age of Enlightenment all the time, is that we play on period instruments or historic instruments. So that means if we're playing Bach, we try and find instruments that were around in Bach's time. So we're talking late 17th century, early 18th century, or if those instruments are in museums and are no longer playable, we might have copies made. So the bass I've got with me today, we think is about 300 years old. And it really has been around a bit. I don't know how clearly you're getting an image of some of the cracks that have been filled in. As I turn it, you might see some of the repairs it's had. It really does look like it's done a lot of traveling. And you can even see at the back how the back has swollen. And I think this is probably a very early base to be made. And the repairer I take it to thinks that it was made with wood that was still slightly green and that's why it's swollen and changed shape like this. But it's great to think here's this instrument that's been around all these centuries and to, we can only imagine who might have played it and where. And that is quite a thought. So we play on original instruments, um, we play Mozart on later instruments, I've got another bass that I use for Beethoven, and we love the music we play, and we love asking questions about the music we play. So when you have an instrument like this, you suddenly find it doesn't necessarily do the things a modern instrument will do. And that sets up a whole train of questions, well if it doesn't do what we're used to modern instruments doing, what would Bach have heard? How might the players in his day have played? What does that mean for us playing today? What does that mean for live music now with this historic information? We're not trying to recreate the past. We're trying to make something that's exciting now, but using what was from the past. So if you might be able to see my strings are made of gut instead of metal. So I've got four uncovered gut strings. The maker of this, this one doesn't like making too many. He says it takes a whole hillside of sheep. So, but they do last a long time. So that's okay. Why do we do it? I think we do it because the sound world we get is amazing and is very different. When you have Baroque oboes and Baroque trumpets, it's very different to a modern orchestra. And I'm not saying the one's better or worse, it's just different. And I personally find it really a, a wonderful world to be part of.